This customer has an electric car charger in their garage that melted after they plugged their Tesla in. We've had this situation happen a couple times and the solution for it is to buy this Bryant NEMA 1450 outlet, which is about $50 more in price than your standard regular NEMA 1450 outlet. So we're gonna replace this outlet with the heavy duty outlet and she's gonna probably have to get a new mail for the Tesla because that one's all melted and then she should be good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the breaker for the car charger. So after removing the melted outlet, I noticed that the ground is only a number 12. So whoever installed this didn't run the correct size ground. We need at least a number 10 here. So I'm gonna pull a new ground and then install the new outlet. So I taped the new ground to the existing and now I'm gonna pull it from the other side. So I pulled my wire out on the other side and now I'm gonna run it in this flex because they did run the correct ground from the panel to this J box. So I only need this wire to land here. Now that I have my ground landed here, I can connect it to the existing grounds and we'll be good to go. Now that I have the correct size ground, I re-stripped all the wires so that they have nice clean ends and now I'm gonna install the new outlet. I got the new outlet wired. These Bryant outlets have their own cover. It's not the same as your standard NEMA 1450 outlet, it's bigger. The outlet installs to the cover with these four screws and then it installs to the box with these two screws on the perimeter. I finished the connections in the ground and I put the covers back on. Breaker on. Now my tester is showing me 240 so I know that the outlet is wired correctly. And we got a heavy duty plug now, so we shouldn't have any burning or arcing for the future. And that's your end result.